Hi everybody. If you want to safely split the C drive into two or three partitions without losing data and without any third-party programs, then this video is for you. This method allows you to create a D drive for storing data, or install another Windows or Ubuntu on the D drive, and you can also create a third drive and use it as a file storage. And so, I open this PC. And here we see my drive is 1TB in size, your C drive size may not be the same, but it does not matter. Now we need to open Disk Management and to do this, right-click on the Start button and select Disk Management. In the window that opens, we see the C drive and two small system partitions that support Windows and they have nothing to do with our actions. Now we need to reduce the C drive and allocate space for the D drive. To do this, right-click on the C drive and select Shrink. In this window we see the total size of disk C before compression, the available space for compression, and here we need to specify the size of the space that we want to allocate for disk D. All sizes are in megabytes. I want to leave about 150 gigabytes for disk C, that is, 150,000 megabytes. This will be quite enough for the comfortable operation of my windows, and to calculate what number to enter in the third line, I will not use a calculator. Now I need to remove the data in this line, and enter the required number. Click, Shrink. And so, after compression, the disk is divided into two parts, disk C and a partition with unallocated space. If the size of the new disk does not suit you, you can easily return to the previous state of disk C. To do this, right-click on disk C and select, Expand Volume, and then create a new second disk again. I am satisfied with the size of the new disk and the size of disk C. Let's create a new volume here. To do this, right-click on this section and select New Simple Volume. Next. I won't change anything here. Next. You can assign any letter. I'll assign the letter D. Next. Again, I won't change anything here. Next. Click Finish. And the new disk is ready. Note that in my This PC window a new disk D has appeared, and I hope that yours was also successful in creating a new disk. If you plan to install a second operating system on the new disk D, you can see how to do this in my other video tutorial, the link is in the description of the video. And now I'll allocate space on disk D and create a third partition to store my files. To do this, I right-click on disk D and select, Shrink. Exactly the same window opened when I created disk D, and now I'll allocate about 120 gigabytes for the second operating system. I won't use the calculator this time either. I enter the required number and click Shrink. And here we see disk D and the third partition with unallocated space. I right-click on it and select New Simple Volume. Everything will be exactly the same here as when creating disk D. Next. 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 I click, Finish, and a new third disk appeared in the This PC window. For each disk, you can choose a different name, this is easy to do. Click on the disk name, enter the name, and then click on an empty space on the screen. The system asks to confirm your rights to make changes, click, Continue, and the name of the new disk is confirmed. So, I plan to install the second windows on disk D and I will use the third disk as a file storage. If you want to return all the changes, and do as it was before and go this way from the beginning, then to do this, do the following. Right-click on the third disk and select, Delete Volume. Click, Yes. In the This PC window we no longer see the third disk. Then right-click on disk D and also select, Delete Volume. Yes. Now right-click on Disk C and select, Extend Volume. Click, Next. In this window, do not change anything and click, Next. Click, Finish. And now we see that in the Disk Management window there is only one Disk C left. 
and in the this PC window we see only disk C and all my data after these actions was not lost and also remained in place. I hope that this method helped you to learn even more about your computer, and I hope that you will soon see another of my new video tutorials on my channel. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day.